corporeal manifestations, full-scale psychomagnetic events, exiled Sumerian gods. For a fleeting ephemeral moment, we were heroes, celebrated across the city, heck, across the world. Unparalleled in our field, preternatural pioneers on the brink of discoveries our scientific forefathers could never have even dreamed of. At even the slightest implication of paranormal activity, everyone knew who to call. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what happened. Chalk it up to a huge misunderstanding, a fallout. For a while, I wasn't sure why I was getting out of bed in the morning. And some mornings I didn't. That's all behind us now. We saved the world yet again, and we're back. <laughs> the firehouse cleans up pretty good, huh? At one point, some hot shots bought the place and turned it into an overpriced Java joint. But now, we're up, running, and firing on all 16 cylinders. All to code, too. Well, uh, most of the codes. At the very least, the codes we're aware of. For me, it's the energy of the old place. Pure ebullience, galvanic energy coursing through the air. And no, I'm not talking about anything psychokinetic, ectoplasmic, or paranormal. Just good, old-fashioned human emotion. Provinces of the living. Oh, I didn't know how much I needed to be back. How much Winston needed me back here. But someone from the old guard has to hold down the fort, you know? Because there's still real work to be done. And that's where you come in. The phone isn't ringing off the hook right now, which uh, is a blessing and a curse. What's good for business is a bad omen for everything else. But if it were up to me, I'd still be in the thick of it. But it's time for a new generation. And that's you. You have the chance to peek behind the capricious veil of life itself and see firsthand what exists on the other side. So don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Well, slimy, really. And yes, that might mean having to pick up a book or two. What people don't know about the Ghostbusters could fill ten encyclopedias. And before you even ask, uh, yeah, I've thought about it. Been approached by some very interested parties, which isn't saying much. Every hack and wannabe with a laptop can be published today, whether they know the science or not. And trust me, they Ray? don't. Ray? Go ahead, this is Ray. Is there someone there with you? Uh... Let me guess. The new recruit is there with you? Ray, you gotta let them get to work. All trainees report directly to the firehouse, remember? Over. Uh, well, uh, that's our time. Good talk. Off you go to meet Cap. Welcome to the team. And don't worry, I'll be in touch. It's... Look, I know you trust me. And speaking of Ray... <laughs> based on the fact that you're 15 minutes late for your orientation, I'll assume you've already met him. He has a tendency to get... worked up, and can forget that we have an onboarding process for a reason. Love Ray like a brother, but he needs to get out more. Allow me to introduce the head honcho, Winston Zedmore. Welcome, kid. Happy to have you on the team. I may sign the checks, but don't go around calling me boss. If you have any questions, don't ask me. Call Cat. That's me. I run operations here. You and the other busters will get your jobs dispatched from me. Any trouble in the firehouse or the field, you come to me. Got it? Oh, and before you go, grab that radio off my desk. Okay, no time to waste, so let's get moving. First up, your jumpsuit, which you'll find in the closet. Pretty self-explanatory what that is. If it isn't, we've got problems. Head to toe meta aramid polymer isn't the style for everyone, but I'm sure you'll find a way to make it your own. Keep your frequency tuned. I'll stay in contact. Now go ahead and suit up. Hey, it's 
cat. You decent? Come meet me in the alley. Target practice. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, 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 we could really use your help out there. to roll. That's what we like to hear. Go ahead and pick up that proton pack. Sorry, that it's the... would classic be the right word? Retro? Personally speaking, I love it. Not to worry though, the base tech is solid. That being said, we have some fun new modifications in the works. Winston's got a tech guy upstairs, but you'll be wielding this for now. This is so freaking cool. Now let's learn how to use it. First up, the particle thrower. You had the toy when you were a kid, like I did. You can imagine the real thing has some actual kick to it. And don't forget, that pack's gonna overheat if you sustain fire long enough. So make sure you vent before you enter overheated cooldown. Venting manually will always be faster than waiting for the emergency cooldown to finish. Oh, and uh, keep an eye out for stray cats. All right, let's try some tethering. The ghost will try to escape your tether by pulling against your pull direction. When you see the tether getting damaged, pull in a different direction to counteract. Hooking them like a pro. Once you've got tethering down, the next part is the trap. Try deploying the trap first, and then you'll learn how to activate it. Deploy the trap beneath the ghost if possible. Nice! Now to open or close the trap, you need to be in range of the pedal. Once it's open, pull the ghost into the field of the trap until it starts to get stuck. And that's how you trap a ghost. Well done! Not many could pull this off on their first day. You've got skill. Now do it 40 more times. Come in, Cat. Hey, boss. What's up? Keep it down out there. The neighbors are starting to complain. Again. All right. We could always just move on to using the PKE meter. Take it inside. Perfect. You got one down there? Sure do. Right here. Eddie can walk you through it. I don't know what he does in the lab all day, but I'm paying him for it. Eddie, are you on this channel? Eddie. This is the only channel you give me access to. Yeah, and for good reason. Listen, we got a new recruit that needs some pointers with the PK meter. Walk them through it. Maybe give our kind and understanding New York neighbors a break. I would, but I'm a little bit... All right, if you pass your entrance test, this device should pretty much be second nature to you. The psychokinetic energy meter is one of the oldest and most valuable devices in the Ghostbusters arsenal. I wish I could take credit for its invention, but predates even me, somehow. Standard Ghost Tracker. Bingo! Instead of further lecturing you on scientific breakthroughs, why don't I just show you? There. Do you see how it's responding? The PKE meter becomes more active based on the direction of the signal. When you're right on top of a paranormal entity, you'll know it. 
It's picking up on the metaphysical energy that empowers not only ghosts, but tons of other negatively charged objects. When the PKE picks up the metaphysical energy of ghosts and objects, it'll light up and make a bunch of noise. The screen displays a pattern depending on the type of signal being tracked. A cascading dot pattern means it's ecto energy, whereas an ascending dot pattern indicates a ghost rift. The sidearms will raise and lower depending on whether you're pointing it at the signal or not. The main screen and light elements will not illuminate if a signal is not present, so move around until you hit something. That's it! Congratulations! There's a chance you may not die on the first job. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Is that what it was? A toddler without a frighteningly advanced piece of technology could have found that one. Dare I say you're actually pretty good at this? Hurry up and find the last of That's all of them. Good thing I wasn't timing you. My watch battery would have died. You're the office funny guy then, huh? I've been told that people warm up to me. Okay. You can bring the PKE to the lab now. I think I just feel better knowing I checked it myself. So, how was that? Hello. Quick, hand it over. This place is wild. Jungles are wild. Chaotic flora growing in all directions with reckless abandon. Everything you see here is exactly as I intended to be. And if you forget, you're as good as a gazelle in a lion's den. Dead. You're dead. Ugh, yikes. I bet you're wondering why we're not using the more advanced gigameters, huh? That's the never-ending struggle between science and budget constraints. Looks like everything is calibrated and ready to go. Okay, now that the minutia is out of the way, let's get into the good stuff. Don't think that they just keep me around to calibrate supernatural dowsing rods for rookies, do you? Wait, I just realized that probably no one introduced me. Cat, did you introduce me? Absolutely not. <sighs> Hello, I'm Dr. Edmund Chan, but you'll call me Eddie, because everyone does, and it's what I prefer. It's nice to meet you, Eddie. I'm not knowing a single thing about you, I'm gonna refrain from saying likewise. No offense. None taken. As you might have inferred, I run the lab here at Ghostbusters HQ. That means research and development, full technological oversight, and... <laughs> the occasional new recruit instruction. If you have any questions about any of your equipment, I'm the one to ask. Only me. Don't talk to anyone else. They don't know anything. Like that cyclotron on your back. I bet you didn't realize that it could be upgraded. Enhanced power coils, frictionless ionizers, you get the idea. Tons of things that you'll use every day out there on the job. Mopping up ectoplasm, heralded as a hero. Are... are you okay? The point is, bring me your gear and I'll make it better. Got it? Good. Looks like that's your cue. Gonna have to cut your orientation short. We've got a job, and I need you on it ASAP. I'd wish you luck, except I don't believe in logical fallacies.
Nothing in there. Got this. Nothing to see here. Just your standard ectoplasmic exorcism. Well, thanks. I guess. If I see a ghost, you'll be the first to know. Jeez. Riff spotted. Here comes a trap. Few more seconds, and this rift is done for. <gasps> uh, trust me, we've seen a lot worse. I'm talking fully formed psychokinetic entities. <laughs> All good. Just had a moment. Don't worry about a thing. We'll have this wrapped up Something in no time. Something is fair. Thanks for getting up today. I'm gonna be fine. You're not gonna let a silly old ghost bother you, are you? I see four or five of these a day. Okay. Just relax. Wasn't in there. Deploying traps. Stand back. I see it. <laughs> 